Hey everybody, Billy from Billy's Bike Adventures here. Thanks for tuning in today and watching my video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you're watching on YouTube, bottom right hand corner, just there, there's a subscribe button. Click that, that'll give you access to all my other videos. If you're watching this on Facebook, go to the description of this video on the Facebook channel and there's a link in there. Click that, that'll take you to my YouTube channel where you can subscribe and, and watch all the, all the other content of my channel that is not on the Facebook channel. So thank you very much for doing that. If you have subscribed already, much appreciated for your support. If you're going to do it, thank you again. Thank you very much and I look forward to sharing more videos with you in the future. So what are we going to be talking about today? Well, uh, recently I uploaded a couple of videos uh, to show you how to remove the wheels from a KTM 1290 Super Adventure R. Now the reason I do that is because I can take my wheels to a tyre dealer and then get them to change the tyres from road to uh, off-road or off-road to road and then I can fit the wheels myself. Uh, it saves me on labour. I'm not taking my bike in and paying them to remove the wheels, so I'm saving myself some labour costs. Since doing that, I've actually bought myself a couple of items uh, to help me be able to change the tyres myself. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you how to change the tyre on the rear wheel of a KTM 1290 Super Adventure R. I've got knobblies on there at the moment, going to be putting uh, road tyres on. So if that's of some interest to you, keep watching. I'll show you the tools that you need and how to do it. First things first, we need to take the core out from the, the valve core from out of the, uh, the valve here. So you need your, uh, your tool to remove the core from inside. A couple of quid online, put that inside. Unscrew, and as you unscrew, tire pressure will start to fall. Keep unscrewing. That's now the core removed. and the tire pretty much deflated now. Right, next thing we need to do now is to uh, bead break the tire off the bead of the wheel. So get yourself some glass cleaner, just give the rim a little bit of a, a spray, just helps with the, uh, the, bead, break, the bead breaking bars uh, to slip under the rim a little bit. So get your bead breaking uh, bars now, and it's the, the fork that you need to stick under the rim first of all. You don't need your rim guards for this, uh, all you need to do is to slip the tool, the bead breaker, the rim under there, under the rim, and then uh, use your other, your other bar to start pressing that tyre down over the bead. So uh, you don't need to be too gentle. Hold one side of the tyre with, the, with, the with your opposite hand. Just push that bar in there under the, under the rim. Put your, other be your, bar, your bead breaker on top. Clamp them together and then push down, okay? turn around a little and do the same thing again. And you keep doing that until the bead has popped off the wheel all the way around. Right, there we go, that's the first bead broken. What you should be able to do now is push that bead, push that bead off all the way around. Once it comes off, it's fairly straightforward. Right, that's the first side of the, of the tire done. Uh, off the bead all the way around, flip it over and do exactly the same thing now. Now, with the bead broken on each side of the wheel, time to use our rim protectors and start taking the wheel off on one side, okay? So, um, wheel protectors on, in with your tyre levers, try and get inside the tyre and put your, pull your first one over and then start working your way around the tyre. Once you've got half the rim off, or half the wheel off around the rim, it's easy then just to pull the rest of the wheel up and over. There we are, that's one side of the wheel off. Take out your rim protectors. Flip the wheel over. Now we need to take it off um, the, the other rim. Now what you're going to need here, you need, you're going to need a bit more leverage, so you might want to get another block underneath here to raise the wheel up a bit further. That's exactly what I'm going to do, so I'm going to get another block just to raise the wheel up a little bit further. So I've got some leverage then. Shouldn't need the tyre levers on this one. Just set your block up, and what you should be able to do with a little bit of brute force is make sure your tyres 
push down to one end and then with a little bit of effort that wheel or that tyre should just pop over the rim as it's doing now. So with the use of a block and, uh, and uh, the tyre levers, the wheel is now completely off. So I can now start putting the road tyre back onto my wheel. So let's get that started. So before you put your wheel back on your, uh, your tyre, so before you put your tyre back on your wheel, two things to uh, take note of. On one side of the tyre, you'll have an arrow. I don't think you can see it too well uh, on here, but there's an arrow here indicating the direction of travel for the tyre. And if not on the same side uh, or the other side, you will have a, 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 a singular red dot or a couple of red dots like this tyre has. That indicates that that should line up with your your ear valve, your tyre valve on the wheel, okay? So just make sure that when you put your wheel on, but the, the red dot or the red marks are lined up with your, uh, with your valve on the wheel. And also just make sure the tyre is going in the correct direction of travel. So, so once you've lined up your, your tyre in, uh, in, in the correct way and you know what you're doing, get some spray again, some glass cleaner on, on the outside rim of your tyre, not too much. That way it should just pop on a lot easier. There's my red mark. So line that up with the wheel. There we go. What you do now, just force it down one side and then start. There we go, that's just fitting over now. And then just start, hopefully, what should that should do now with the, with the glass cleaner on, it should just uh, pop over. So you've got... There we go, that's one side done, okay? So that's the tyre just popped over now. Hard part, hard part comes up now. So just make sure that your, your mark on your tyre is where the valve is. Yep, so it's, that's correct. Get some more glass spray, glass cleaner. Spray your rim, the tyre rim. And this time, start popping one side on with a bit of ease. You'll get to a point now where you'll not need to start using your tyre levers. So get your rim protectors, pop them in either side, and then start using your tyre levers to pop your tyre back on. So that's the tyre back on now, both, uh, both rims over both sides of the wheel. I'm just going to make sure now that the tyre's on right before I do anything else so that my valve is lined up with the marks on that side and that uh, this is the side that the chain is going to go on. So my, my chain is on the right side or my, my um, sprocket is on the right side that my bike is facing. I'm just going to make sure now that the direction of travel, so the arrow is going around that way. So that is right now, the wheel is aligned and set up. So what we have to do now is to put the, um, the valve core back in using the valve core tool. So there's the, there's the valve core tool there. And now I need to put the, put that back in. Screw that back in. Once that's tight, don't over tight it, just finger tight. Right, this wheel now is ready to be, um, for the tyre to be um, popped back on the bead. So let's get that done. So now that we've got the tyre back on over the, the rims of the wheel, what we need to do now is uh, put some air into the tyres and get the, the rims of the wheel popped back over the beads. And uh, to do that, you'll need an air compressor. So put the, put the, uh, the valve on the air compressor and away we go. Should hear two pops. So my tyre now is, is back on my rear wheel and set to the correct tyre pressure. For the KTM 1290 Super Adventure R, the rear wheel tyre pressure is 2.9 bar or 42 psi. The front wheel for the same bike is 2.4 bar and 35 psi. So with the tyres now set at the correct uh, tyre pressure, and always check your manufacturer's recommendations if you don't remember, so make sure you have a look at your uh, user manual. We now need to balance the wheel, so let me show you how to do that. So I've got my wheel now set up on my balance bar. 
and uh, I've moved the wheel weights uh, that I had on there previously. So with all that set up now, um, just give the, the wheel a slight spin and what you're waiting for now is for the wheel to come to its natural resting position and that will be where the heaviest part of the wheel will be at the bottom. Okay, don't spin it too, too uh, fast or you'll be waiting for ages for the wheel to slow down. Um, but what the wheel doing, is doing now is that it's, uh, it's finding its natural resting position with the heaviest part of the wheel at the bottom. So once that's stopped moving, I'll use a bit of tape uh, to mark where the top of the wheel has, uh, has set. So that is just about done now almost. Right, so that's, that, that's set now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the tape and I'm going to put this on the top of the wheel in line with the, with the balance bar. So there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some wheel weights and uh, I'm going to stick those I'm going to stick those uh, exactly where these, uh, the, I've marked the, the lightest part of the tyre and what I'm going to do then, I'm going to move the tape uh, here where the, where the tape is marked round to a 3 or 9 o'clock point once I've added the wheel weights and then I'll let it go and see if the wheel moves from that position. So let's get that done. And as you can see it's still rotating back to uh, the heavier uh, set point where the, the tape is at the top where, where it is now and uh, <clears throat> the heaviest point of the wheel at the bottom so I still need to put some more wheel weights on there. Right, set it back to a 9 o'clock position or 3 o'clock depending on which side your tape is and that is still uh, rotating round. So uh, a couple more weights to go on. It hasn't rotated as quickly this time so we're almost there. Again, set to a 9 o'clock position. See what happens. So this wheel is almost balanced. It's turning a little bit slower now. So I'm going to add a couple more weights and get that balanced out. So this wheel is just about balanced now. So the tape is here. There's the, there's the tape there. And so if I turn that around to a 9 o'clock position and I just let that go now, the wheel has come to a natural point of uh, set at 9 o'clock. It moves slightly uh, but it's now set at 9 o'clock so uh, that wheel is now balanced and ready to go back on the bike. Tyres back on, set to the correct tyre pressure and the wheel is balanced, ready to go back onto the bike. Now tyre pressure is 2.9 bar or 42 psi for the rear wheel, 2.4 bar or 35 psi for the front wheel. I'll be doing the front wheel later today. I hope you found that useful today and found it interesting. If you did, thumbs up would be much appreciated. Thank you. Any questions? If you're watching on YouTube, questions down below. Uh, leave those there and I'll get back to you normally within 24 hours, if not straight away. And also below, you'll find links to all the kit that I've used today. I hope you find as good a bargain as I did if you're going to start changing your own tyres. Good luck with that. Let me know how you get on if you, if you do decide to do that. If you're watching on Facebook, go to the description and click on the link in the Facebook, uh, on the Facebook description. That'll take you to my YouTube channel and you'll be able to su subscribe there. Thank you very much indeed for watching till the end. Look forward to showing more videos within the future. But for now, take care.